you know, I'm not that old, but um, 57. We we were. Dang. I still I'm we were still driving nails, right? And so what do you mean, I, like back in your day? Like when I first started, it was like nail guns weren't that good, and so there was times where we were nailing with with nails, and so the when you're nailing up trim and casing on an old house with a with a hammer you can't use a waffle head you can't use a 28 mm-hmm. you know you tr- you're what actually it, using a 16 ounce hammer so the hammers are are, are graduated like there's I, th- I suspect there's eight and ten ounce hammers, but for carpentry they start at what 14 or 16 and then they go up to like 22 it's like a these are ounces hammer. yeah mm-hmm. And so what is that metric? Uh, <laughs> so this, the so the 16 ounce hammer is is the trim hammer that I would use. And when you were nailing these like an arts and crafts house, I'm thinking of the job, you would, you know, you had to hit that nail right enough to drive it below the surface of the of the wood without, without messing up without, the surface without, of the wood. You know, leaving a, a bruise, right? And so That's tricky. It, it is tricky. And so, you know, I got much better at it as I continued to do it, but it took me, you know, a few days on the job to, yeah. to and you, you'd do a bruise and you'd be like, oh gosh. <laughs> and then you'd get an, an iron out, a wet rag, and you were steaming it out so the bruise would come out. Whoa. And so, way. yeah, so it was, it was, anyway, all that being said, right, is the irony of tools, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I love tools. I mean, there's nothing better than going to buy tools, yeah. right? But, uh, we get, and this is what I say in my book, The Thomas House in Instant Age, is that, you know, we get so uh, wrapped up into how tools are being used, we forget, like that TikTok video, that this, the right way to do it, bunk, right, you're done. Yeah. And so the example I used in my book, which has lost its uh, validity because, you know, people don't even have compressors and hoses anymore. The, because, oh, yeah, I remember the, the electric that. now? Uh, yeah, and so oh yeah, cordless. And they, they have cordless nail guns. Whereas when I was doing it, you you picked up a compressor and you pulled hoses out of your truck, and you know. And the example was is that someone had a baseboard that was come loose in the house, mm-hmm. and the baseboards come loose because you're used to using the nail gun, and you don't know the nails are gone, and you've been you know shot you know <laughs> eight times before you realize you're out of nails. And you're yeah. like. Looking back at the board you just shot, going, I wonder if I got nails in there. And you're just Swiss cheesing <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> Stick. <laughs> <Not checking. laughs> so you go back to you got to you got to go nail a baseboard back onto this house, and you go over there and you pull the compressor out, you pull it, yeah. you know, and it's a thirty minute exercise to get set up. You go thunk thunk, <laughs> and then you walk out, right? Yeah, yeah. And if you just had a hammer and a nail, thunk thunk, yeah. you know, you'd have been out of there in five minutes. Anyway, it, it's especially today when we have the the jewels uh, the tools and the and the jigs and the 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 cordlessness and all this other thing you can be trapped at a job site mm-hmm. waiting for things to charge yeah. waiting for things to you know mm-hmm. and anyway and I, you could just you, your your point is like we've lost the art of using manual tools I, I, like regular yeah i i'm not saying it necessarily good or bad. Right, I think right, right. One of the things you learn at North Bennett Street is certainly how to use hand tools again, because right. that's certainly a skill set that but people your, don't your have. But your point is that there's an ir- there's a certain irony to the fact that we're waiting on a tool to charge when it's like we've got two things to do. Let's just finish it off with a saw or a. It's just all that stuff, and that that you can't hang a door until you get your nail your your hinge jig out, and you can't. Oh you know, yeah. You can't you know do these things without your without your tools, right? I can't mm-hmm. get set up. It's just mm-hmm. like. It's, yeah, it, it's a, there's an irony there, and in, in, in this day and age, it's especially troublesome um, because when you carry it forward. Sorry, yeah. I'll quit talking about this, but to this point of the CNC, all right, right, that we become so reliant on this CNC to cut out our boards and do this thing, we forget how to do it by hand. And mm-hmm. you know, the problem is, is that CNC machine has a library of three bits, right? Mm-hmm. That well, we use the A, B, or the C bit, and it's just like. Okay, you know there's like a thousand different ways to do yeah, that, yeah, yeah. and you're limited to three. Right. That's when you bring out Vossel. <laughs> yeah. Vossel with this literally just chisel and hammer. Yeah. Just come that's mess a, it up. What is your comment to that? Well, I, I, when I started, I just thought tools were the answer to everything. Power tools. You know, I wasn't really into hand tools. So I'll have the, I, you'll have the exact opposite experience of mm-hmm. me because I just, you know, circular saw, reciprocator, yeah. oscillating multi-tool, miter saw. And I kind of like didn't want to 
use tools i had a warped perception back then like hand tools i was like yeah, we're yeah. we're advanced you know we're, we don't why do i need it well that's how i i think the same thing yeah like, if it wasn't for him i would be like well why not you know why not this yeah and that was my my you know misconception mm-hmm. as i got into like learning about hand tools and like actually learning how to sharpen a chisel what a japanese hand saw is a pool saw uh i realized really fast that these tools were superior like in the in the process of i mean you you could get it done faster with mm-hmm. the tool but it's not going to be as clean mm-hmm. you know as with a power tool right so um i've recently come around to like actually just this past calendar year like buying my first set of good chisels mm-hmm. like i would always just buy chisels and use them as beater chisels to like knock like a mortise out or something like right. that or just to you know, even like bend a nail of or just junk chisels, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it's, there's a lot there. The hand tool journey is, is scary because you go on eBay and look at these things and you just want to buy them all and see yeah. what, see what they do. <laughs> well, it I, is think more that, interesting. I think that chisel thing is, is so interesting. Um, because if you, you know, have the beater chisel that, you know, it has chunks of metal cut out of it where you hit a nail or whatever the thing is, and then you ha- put a good chisel in your hand and the way it pairs the way wood and you're just like this is like butter and before yeah. you'd have had to you know <laughs> hammer yeah. you know through it like it'd be like trying to do something with the uh, with the flat head screwdriver yeah compared to doing something with yeah. a you know hex bit yeah well, no a laser you know cutter it's yeah. just, just oh, it's wow. the it's the when it, you when you have a sharp tool when when it cuts well and when it you know it, when you're using it as intended yeah too. it's it's powerful 